Louisiana Beer Reviews, Freox Heather Ale, introduced in 2000, brewed in Eloa, Scotland, in the United Kingdom. This Heather Ale, brewed with natural flavors, uh-oh, one of those flavored beers. What are the natural flavors? Heather and bog myrtle. They use British pale malt, ale malt, caramalt, and malted wheat. Gets a good rating on Beer Advocate. The Bros scored exceptional, their second highest score. Gets a 67 out of 100 on Rape Beer and a 63 out of 100 for the style. So this 5% alcohol, uh, they don't say at all about hops. So, I mean, do they even put hops in this thing? Doesn't say. And it's chilly out here on a winter's day. I see a lot of smoke. says best before November. Well, it's only February, so must be pretty fresh. Just got off the boat from that kingdom. Okay. Medium. Slightly off-white head and a hazy, bubbly, very bubbly, golden appearance. Golden from that way, more yellow golden with the sunshine through it, but you can see the bubbles more than likely. Let's, ooh, it's cold. Let's go with the uh, aroma. It's kind of a soapy head. Looks like about to wash dishes in the sink. That is a full flavor, a full aroma. You pick up the, I would say, lightly roasted malts, the wheat malt, the barley malt. Maybe some of the flavors. It's got some flowers, like uh, goldenrod or something. I don't know. It's bready. It's hard to describe, but it's interesting. You have to buy it and try it. All right, let's go with the taste. Um, that's very spicy. You can really pick up those uh, added flavors, the, the, the just those spices. I don't know how to describe them, but they're there. And um, the malts. There's. Um, There's no bitterness, no, no bitterness. Um, you're just getting the white wheat bread um, and those spices. The mouthfeel is medium and soft and sort of slick. The finish, a lot of, a lot of lacing, huh? The finish is, um, mostly dry it's refreshing here at about 9 15 in the morning and it's um it's very drinkable there's nothing foul about it there's no off flavors like no rancidness or no kind of funny funky taste or aromas it, it just tastes really fresh and um and it's it's enjoyable i i would prefer the beer without the spices, but that's me. I'm not really into the spice beer, but it is pleasant. It is good. It is enjoyable. Um, I see where the bros are going with this, saying it's exceptional for what it is. So, this almost has a uh, grains of paradise aspect to it. Um, Kind of reminds me of some of those Samuel Adams beers. 
Oh, uh, it's definitely worth trying out. I don't think it costs too much for this bottle. I don't think I paid much for it. Um, check it out. It's worth it's worth it. I'll give it an A minus. It's excellent, but just so I'm not gonna say exceptional like they're going saying. Oh, I do see. Now I see a lot of brown specks floating around, light brown specks. There's a lot of sediment in this beer. A lot of stuff floating around this thing. And I'm gonna so slungy var, check it out. And I'm gonna end this review by saying goodbye. Y'all come on down to New Orleans.